for now welcome back our designing continuum we want to do the book cover design as you can see on your screen we are using this textbook as a sample so if you have it with you or any textbook just free along and let us do something meaningful we are going to start by measuring our textbook because i've told you that we use accurate measurements whenever we are doing the graphic work now with my measuring units i'm having a ruler that is having a centimeter here centimeter so i'm going to be measuring in centimeter now i don't know the type of the measuring you need to want to use it could be inches or any any one you want to use just take your ruler and measure the paper you want to use i will double click by the right side or i go to layout I'll go to layout page setup now i'm using centimeter so i have to take it to centimeter now my width i'm going to measure the width i'm having i'm having 35.5 here so i'm going to write 35.5 even if it is 0.2 you have to input the point 0.2 then i'm having and the height the height is what the height is 24 centimeter so i'm going to use 24 centimeter resize current page only yes as big as this book is this is the page and when we print this thing out it's going to give us the exact measurements here don't look like it's very small it's not small it is as big the next thing for us to do is to take our ruler guide and divide our page into two equal half when you pick it like this just press p on your on your keyboard it's going to centralize the guide and divide the page into two equal half look at the measurement of the guide 17.75 by 12 and my full measurement is what 35.5 by 24.4 so definitely this is the half measurement of our page of our paper now when we are done this is the accurate measurement then look at this green side do we see we are going to measure that green side alone then here i'm having like 1.5 centimeter the width that's what we need just take a rectangle draw the rectangle then give it the width 1.5 centimeter this is the width of the of the green then put it here and put it on p it's going to centralize it for us so this is our rectangle then our height is what 24 just give it 24 so that it can rhyme and that will be our green color and it's not ordinary green they use a deep green do you see that is it and that is how we start to go so take your ruler your rectangle and double click and give it a deep green but now i have the color i want to use i don't need to be disturbing myself i will just click then edit copy properties from field color okay do you see that is all for it i fill all my color you may not see that green because it's the same color let me use a white to indicate it then later we can do it then what happens we have another image we have another diagram another color here take our rectangle let's say this is it give it a light green do we see it then the current page there is a yellow a golden and another color entirely take out it then draw the line make sure that that's why i give it a white outline so that you don't cover your line do we see you don't have to cover your line and this one is like a gold color yes that's it gold golden yellow golden yellow color look for your golden yellow color do we get it now then we have some images here all these ones are images so let me also import some image if i have any image that i can just use let me import this image 
this is the image that will fill everything then my ruler guide should come here then power clip effects don't forget from my ruler guide then hop do we see that is it put a ruler guide here so that you don't exceed so that you don't exceed your ruler guide finish editing do we see so that is all about it now on our page again we have this design here let me zoom it out for you do you see we have this design if the book is with you you can just try to that's one thing that we do you can just try to bring it out do you see do you see do you see then it becomes my shape do you see the shape i bring out so this is the shape we shall be using but now that you don't have the book on the system how are we going to do it we are going to create that shape do you see that as big as this shape this is the size it gives me so our shape it should not be more than this size you can say ah it's too small but when it comes out it's not too small we are going to take it out let's create our own if you are seeing it for the first time to the edge down here then up here and let it go like that that is how we have our shape do we see the shape i created yes so this is the shape we shall be using which tool did i use to create this shape i use my bezier tool i've told you since the beginning that i love to work with this bezier tool it makes my work easier you can as well shape your rectangle if you have the time then they give you something like this with no outline do we see then i'm going to build my rectangle inside or i reduce my shape so i'm going to power clip this rectangle the same shape the same shape do we see now then for the down one also the same shape then it must close yes it must close then i give this one the green color the deeper green give this one also the deeper green then no outline come up to my page again so I have something like this do we see so we are good to go that's it do we see now so this is just a little bit of our design what's next we have this line i'm just going to design it for us to see then we have this line i'm going to use my bezier tool from here down here and they give it outline to be white increase to like two points or four points do we see then you have your circle so there is nothing that is big old. then you have your circle then you see good do you see now i'm getting it gradually gradually which other thing is there that can be difficult for us except for the logos that we have there you see the logo and this thing we call let me zoom it out for us let me zoom it out this is what we call barcode we are going to insert this barcode we are going to insert it now so this is our barcode you see all those lines that is there you don't need to be drawing your sag your line 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 no it is a barcode how do we import it edit insert barcode edit insert barcode then we have the barcode it display you can choose code 
do you see this type okay this is like the type they use or well, let's look for another one do you see the way it looks like no this is not the type no i think this one is almost similar but i prefer that january 13 something like this then i have nine seven oh it's starting from four we are going to change our thing so let's look for another barcode or just pick any barcode of your choice that can go with it then we can now decide to edit it the only thing we just need here is those code the way they look like so i'll be using code bar code 25 no code waiting no sorry let's try to use this nine seven five nine seven eight nine five three nine seven five four nine let's see next next and finish does it insert our barcode yes this is our barcode here do we see now hmm? this is our barcode the last one here i don't need it take your shape too That we have to use this one so this is just the barcode is giving us do we see and if you don't want the last one there let's edit insert our barcode again i may not put anything there do we see yes finish edit then go up and we see your barcode here do we see now because i ignore the fourth letter do you see? So this is our back code here. Yeah. Very simple like that. This is the back code here. Yeah. Then you create a rectangle that will swallow the back code and give it white. No act like control page down. Do you see? So you cannot type the number out yourself. ISBN and the code 9789789 five three nine seven five eight that's the code inside the barcode so if the code is even from your own you write do you see it's very big so then it will stay like that that is our barcode any other design there that is too difficult for us to do it remains the one they put at the head when you turn your page you will see this place do you see name for the mathematics and the name of the people that do it so you to zoom out then type new for the mathematics project theory this is the size i want to use give it let me choose area black yes then rotate it 90 degree mirror mirror yes white but it's too big let's give it 20 because it has taken much of our space mm -hmm. then in between that and your small rectangle centralize it so it's going to fall in between the rectangle you know that we created a small rectangle here do you see now it's going to be in between so it's not going to be on one side that's why it's always good to zoom out then you can decide to enlarge it do you see yes that's how it's going to be so that is for that one then we have mr another work they put on top here m r t u t t u h a d e g u a if you don't understand any language just type as if you are typing alphabet alphabet so you don't need to make mistake so this is it go this one i can give this one like 10 then don't forget 90. it comes here so you rotate this 
right so i think we are good to go then the next thing they put there is the company logo do you see it is the company logo you don't have something like that come to f f11 is going to take you to import some text from images control f11 control f11 do you see then we have web dink we have wink dink w e b those are where you will see it web dink you can use any of these we also have wink dink do you see it wink dink 2 wink dink 3 so i can pick something from this place like all those books you can see some books there that you can use so let me go back to my web dink let me use this book let me use bell for them yes give my book white give my bell white do we see now as it is it's a transparency yes i can blend it together it becomes one what did i do this place you see break apart then it becomes one then do you see it so if you give it any color that's the color you will have so let me just give it white don't forget to group them then i put it here to serve as my own logo and this bell should come on top hmm? do we see now so what other thing is giving us problem here this is all about our book cover i believe you should know how to type yes you just type and for you to type the one here you have to take your text tool as if you want to type on microsoft word take your text tool draw out a rectangle do you see that is when you can start typing do you see once i type it's going to go to the next page for me the new For the mathematics fifth revised edition books one two three uh do you see what I'm seeing are completely revised based on the Nigerian educational research and development council. So with this you select it to be justified so that it ran from both sides. Do you see it now? It's telling you that there is something wrong with your aim. Right click on it and pick the correct one. Capital letter. Do you see? It? So it's as if you are typing on your Microsoft Word. That is it. But the other one on top, you have to type it out separately. New folder mathematics project. Yes. Then you have your number three. You have your number three here. Then take your number three, make it bold. The way it a little bit snack like this. How this effect do you see? This is how you bring your effect into actualization. So that is all for our book cover do we see are we the same thing do we look alike yes a little bit alike do we see at the time is because we don't have this image so with this we are good to go we've just created the background the next thing for us is to input our text so don't be afraid when you see a bigger thing just take your measurement and do it the same way if you have any challenge don't forget to post into our comment section